Hi, my name is Eric Kamamba, and today I'm going to cover how to view data uh, from the database. Uh, we do have keywords here. We, we're going to spend a few minutes that are going to be select from, and uh, uh, um, um, uh, we use SQL language to uh, access the database, to query data from the database. And uh, SQL um, stands for Structured Query Language. This is the language which helps us to view or uh, manipulate the database or view data from the database. Okay. Let's go back to our SQL Server Management Studio. Again, if you don't understand what this is, um, watch my other video which I've explained what uh, uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio is. So, once you're connected, you can go to the databases and uh, I'd like to access uh, AdventureWorks databases. Again, uh, AdventureWorks is a Microsoft product. And uh, if you do have uh, any questions or you need more information regarding AdventureWorks databases, please go ahead and watch my other video. So, let's say i'm going through uh tables here and these are tables and again if you like to uh, know much about uh, uh tables and how to get adventurous i do have another video just go ahead and search and um, um, you will be able to find the information so um I'm into my tables now. I want to uh, database. I want to uh, again. I clicked on this plus sign to tables, and uh, let's say I would like to see all employees in human resources schema. All I need to do is to right click, and I'll say select top seven rows. So this will open a new query, and uh, uh, if you take a look at our um, query or uh, SQL so this is the uh, SQL okay so if you take a look you're gonna see there is a keyword which is select and from and this is nothing else but our uh, database we do have our schema and this is our table name okay so this is SQL query and uh, once we execute we'll see the data in our employee table okay and the other thing if you can take a look at stop it's another keyword and uh taking the color this says uh just select top thousand rows and if you take a look at our table it just have uh, 290 rows so these uh are not, it's nothing it's just telling the the the, um, the database to just display the top thousand rows so now if you, we, we can change this maybe to top hundred rows now instead of getting 290 we'll just get the first hundred rows let's do this in action to execute our SQL, you can go ahead and uh, hit execute or f5 on a keyboard so let's go ahead and execute and again you can see here we just have uh, top 100 rows and yeah you can go ahead and select top five rows let's go ahead and select five here and change this to five and once we execute we'll see we just have five rows and uh here the result is going to be five rows okay and again if you take a look at these uh, uh columns they are just listed based on how they've been uh, identified in here uh if you like to get rid of some of the columns you can for example business uh, uh entity maybe we can just go ahead and remove this we don't need and select SQL statement always it doesn't have to have a um, uh, top five or top ten or whatever you can go ahead and move it so uh, I've removed that and for example you want let me scroll and see here TTT what information do you have let's say you want the uh, birth date 
to be at the beginning of it. I'll go ahead and move this birth date. I just could get rid of here to the beginning and add my comma. These are nothing but the column names. So if I run this command, um, I'm gonna get birth date in the beginning. Okay. That's the easiest way to do that. And I repeat again, you right click on it and you select top 10,000 rows. Or the other way, you can go ahead and uh, uh, type a new query. And over here, you can select, you can type that certain all from, and uh, we know our schema is human resources. We don't have to identify the database here because it shows over here it's already connected. So we don't have to identify the database. So, uh, the schema is human resources here and the table name is employee. So this stands for select all columns. And if I hover here, I'll see the list of all the columns and the data type and everything. So if you execute this command, it's the same as the one we saw previously. And uh, again, we can add our top. Maybe you want to just set top 21 records. You can still do that. And if you execute that, we're going to get 21 rows. Okay. Again, uh, my name is Eric Amanda. And today we, uh, I will show you guys how to view data from the database. Thanks. Have a nice day.